Welcome to the City Current Radio Show. I'm your host, Andrew Bartolotta. Prepare to be inspired today as we learn about My Cup of Tea, an organization with a mission to walk alongside women beyond the boundaries of poverty and neglect and assist them in finding their purpose. Joining us today is the founder of My Cup of Tea, Carrie Moore, and joining her is one of the wonder women of Orange Mound, Danielle. Danielle and Carrie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to be among so many people that listen to you. Absolutely. So Carrie, can you give us in uh, our audience a quick history for My Cup of Tea and the work that you've been able to accomplish? In 2015, we bought a tea company in order to provide jobs for women who live in Orange Mound. Uh, The majority just needed a resource or two, but the need they felt was work. And so we built around that program many other activities in order to stabilize the women. It's a hybrid of sorts. It's a mission as well as a business. So you mentioned Orange Mound. Paint a picture for those who don't know about the community of Orange Mound, its rich history, and why you chose this area. Uh, Orange Mound is the area I told my children to always stay away from when they were coming along because its reputation was one of danger. But when I knew that I was supposed to get involved with women who had not had the advantages I had, the Lord told me to go to Orange Mound, which there was irony in that. And uh, I discovered that the history was so rich and so beautiful. It's, it's reported to be the oldest, if not among the three oldest African-American communities in America. And it is the only one that was built by African-Americans for their own families. I love that. And it does have a rich history. And there are a lot of uh, families that have um, lived through generations in the Orange Mound community. And you're you're cultivating a community in Orange Mound and the surrounding area, one tea leaf at a time. Talk about the tea flavors, subscriptions, and then let's dive into the micro enterprises that have bloomed in your space. We have 14 flavors of iced tea. We have each filter is from two to three quarts. Each filter could be double steep. So once you make that first quart of tea, you could come back and make your second um, batch of tea. And keep an eye out on August because it's iced tea blowout in the middle of the month. I love that. What are some of your favorite flavors? Um, I like um, pomegranate green. I also like lemon metals. And my favorite is strawberry decaf. Ooh, I would love strawberry decaf. <laughs> my favorite is the peach. Is it por- orange man porch, porch peach? Yes, porch peach. Yes, that flavor is so good. Okay, so not only is there uh, a tea business here in Orange Mound, but there's also these micro enterprises that the women are able to to uh, bloom that we mentioned yeah. inside your space. Talk about that. It's everywhere from. Um, from hairstyling to yeah. carpentry. Yeah. Tell us about this. yeah, shall I go with this one? Yes. Uh, well, our women are uh, so wonderfully equipped with secondary skills and their, their passion has been identified in different quadrants of our campus. And so we built out opportunities for that. We have uh, a monogramming company we have a sewing company and we have a wig company and a workshop company. And those are just headed by one individual and a volunteer who are stretching out to see what a social enterprise just identified under one person can afford them. And so uh, it, it, it's floating, it's blooming and it's floating. <laughs> and all of those are within our our boundary here on the corner of Sims and Con. What I think is so beautiful about my cup of tea is you all do a wonderful job about capturing the stories of each of the women, as well as um, sharing special moments. And even um, in your latest newsletter, a mimosa recipe using your tea. So what's more beautiful than that? Yeah. Um, I think. <laughs> one thing that you have is a short film called Loose Leaves, and you're working on um, some more video projects. Can you talk about some of that and where people can watch it? Our website designer, Speak, 
uh, created uh, footage from their interviews of our women and entered it into the Indie Film Festival. And we were a finalist. Uh, it was called Loose Leaves and it's accessible on our website. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. It's rich. Danielle, you're a native of Detroit, Michigan, and you've had some adversity along the way. Talk about your connection to My Cup of Tea and how they've been able to walk alongside you since moving to Memphis. Well, when I first moved to Memphis, uh, my father begged me not to move to Orange Mound, me not knowing the history of Orange Mound and me not knowing that Jesus had a path for me in Orange Mound. I ended up moving to this um, apartment complex called Robin Hood. There they had an organization for the children after school, which was Neighborhood Christian Center. So one day I went to pick up my children and it was a lady that worked there named Miss Joyce. She told me she had signed me up for a program, which was through Neighborhood Christian Center, which was uh, Work for Life. I went through the Work for Life program and then they introduced another program, which was Tea for Life. Me not knowing Jesus had already had a plan for me over here, which my father told me do not move to Orange Mountain. <laughs> but I end up doing the program for Tea for Life and um and end up making and turn for a month and gaining successfully employment. And during this journey of employment, um, where I didn't see no hope for my children, when I couldn't go out and take my children all out at once, because remind you, I am a five, I have five children, two sets of twins, and uh, my oldest is 17. So it was me being not self-sufficient at the time. This job put back sufficient in my household. So where I was lacking that, they gained, gained me the interest of making myself better and connecting my life with Jesus. So this job has did amazing things for me and my children. Um, I never had a job like this before because some days, you know, you have to work with the schedule because your children might be sick or there might be outside things you need to do for your family. And this job has been tremendously amazing to me. They worked around my schedule and they put back hope in my life. And I love this job. I love Orange Mountain and I love the founders and the workers and my family here. Danielle, you are the perfect ambassador for my cup of tea, not only just <laughs> your you. story blossoms, but also the work that God has done in your life. I think that's beautiful. And as a father of twins and you having two sets of twins, <laughs> And yes. another child, five children total. I mean, yes. that's that's incredible. I've heard that you are also a expert tea maker when people drop in, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Talk about your favorite things about my cup of tea and what you would do um, on a daily basis there. Well, my favorite thing here to do is everything here. There's not just a favorite thing, but I will say this: this stands out. Um, I'm excellent tea maker. When I first got here, Miss Debbie, which is my mom, she introduced me into how to make the perfect steep tea. People just think that there is just, you put it in a pot and you make your tea or brew it. No, it's actually, you have to have time and patience with the tea and actually, actually identify the minutes and the steep and the temperature of the tea. So I became fascinated with that. And once I became fascinated with something that I like, I put my all into it. And the tea here is tremendously amazing. When I first got here, I wasn't a tea person, but God made it to the point that I am a tea person. I don't add sugar, nothing like that, just straight plain tea. Do your children have a favorite flavor? They like Perry Passion. They like when I bring the Perry Passion home. <laughs> What puts a smile on your face, Danielle, when you look at the work that you're able to do every day at My Cup of Tea? What puts a smile on my face is knowing that I am producing products that will make people feel healthy and make them feel warm and more self-confidence in their self because you never know what someone's going through throughout the day or throughout their lifetime. You know, just a single cup of hot tea will put a smile warm on someone's face. And not only that, iced tea. When it's hot outside, someone will love a cool glass of iced tea. So that puts a smile on my face to let me know that I am putting a smile on someone else's face and, and encouraging them and uplifting them. What a great answer. Carrie, what puts a smile on your face when you look at the work that you're able to do every day at My Cup of Tea? Uh, seeing these women advance in their purposes, 
uh, which far extend beyond our company. But there's a new confidence and there's a dignity and uh, a loveliness about each one. So I think it's like a mother watching her children begin to understand what has been offered and what they've capitalized on. You talk about why, where people can uh, purchase the tea and then also you have a tea subscription. You've got where um, you have retailers that you can pick up the tea around town. You can order it online. Talk about um, some of the tea offerings that people can purchase. Well, our website, shopmycupoftea.com is uh, a beautiful uh, illustration of our entire effort. It has the mission as well as the product and our store is, is updated and two clicks gets you through it and, and a box on the way. So that in these hot summer days is our first recommendation. We're in uh, a dozen or more different retail outlets around Memphis. And uh, we also have retail here at 3028 Carnes, which is where our whole company exists. How can people support my cup of tea? Well, there are, are donation options on the website. And uh, beyond the tea, we have a couple of other areas that we are trying to uh, develop an income stream. Uh, the discovery of some of the deplorable housing issues. We have three homeowners and uh, their options on really having a secure home are limited. And so we've started a housing fund in order to uh, bring about what is a normal living opportunity or experience. Um, so that is an option if somebody wants to designate on the tagline that they could donate to that. They can donate to the housing fund, as I said, or uh, the tea company itself. And then we have emergency funds because uh, with this pandemic this year, there have been uh, big gaps in the flow. And what we read on uh, the media uh, is only a small sketch of the uh, situation. We're still at on a negative side of even. Perry, your tea boxes are beautifully designed. And in fact, you're actually working on a partnership with the Orange Mound Arts Council and finding the next tea box designer. Talk about that contest that you're holding right now, the deadline and where people can submit their art. Well, and there is such an affinity for Orange Mound. We want any artist that has a connection to our neighborhood to submit a portfolio. Uh, that can be done through uh, www.shopmycupoftea uh, slash proposals. And we'll review uh, after September 1st, which is the deadline for those submissions. And then our desire is to select the artist and then reward with a thousand dollars and then use PR to get that artist's name out through social media. And then the artwork will be on our new box that will be available uh, for the Christmas sales. One more time, where can people go to learn more about you, support your efforts uh, for My Cup of Tea? Thank you for that. Uh, I would say our, our website is the fullest expression and most current and fresh, but dropping in over here on a Tuesday, we can give you a tour and it becomes almost irresistible to want to be a part of it. We have 45 volunteers who come through in different waves of their availability and you can volunteer. Certainly drinking our tea, becoming a tea advocate is better for anyone. It's except for water. We're the next best thing. Absolutely. Well, Danielle, Carrie, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you.